texture. And in the grand theme of not understanding what somebody is saying, because it might be in a different language, I'm talking about things which have a feel rather than saying I'll text you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Te text your mother back. Text your mother back. Um, so, so we're saying feel, like what would be some examples of, feel. of what, was, what would people say, oh well, the texture is? Well, it's, it's, it, well how about smooth, um, dense, light. Sharp. Yes. Fluffy, velvety, transparent. So. Adjectives. Adjectives. They're very good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, I mean, you can't feel. To, the reason I was looking in the air to see if my head gave me something extra there was like, can you really describe? Is, is transparent a texture? It would be if you were talking about fabric. I'm thinking about the ways that you can describe fabrics a lot of the time Warm. how would it feel if it, if it was a fabric yes mm. how would it feel it's like one of those branding things like if your brand were a biscuit what would it be so, oh you've probably never come across any of those things I've never no no if, if you work in marketing and you you with a bunch of people who've never had to be creative ever and they don't really want to mm. and you make them try to think, uh, what happens is people will say, right, so if you're working for, I don't know, what's a brand that doesn't exist anymore so I can't insult them? Terry's, no, they... Woolworths. My Nestle. Well, if Woolworths in the UK, Woolworths were a biscuit, what would it be? Rich tea. Do you no. think so? Plain, no, not very expensive. Oh, okay, a packet of midget gems. That's more like it. Because it's got a little something of everything. I hadn't, I hadn't given it any thought then, but I know I am. There we go. Yeah. So. If four thousand one hundred sixty uh, Tuesdays was a biscuit, what would it be? It would be. It, it would be an assorted tin, wouldn't it? It would be a. It would be a. It, yes. So you, you get a whole box full, uh, with flowers all over the, the box, and then it would have a big. Pile of fruity ones, and some chocolate ones, and some sticky ones, and some just some plain digestives. But what you've described there is not a biscuit. You've described I've a tin described of biscuits. I've described a tin of biscuits. What you've done is you've managed to avoid the question. I have. It's if really it hard. Biscuit, to, I mean, I don't know what I'd say the answer I don't was. I know. 4,162 days, a biscuit. <laughs> Just, uh, maybe that is part of my issue I would the... say that it was oh no I was going to say it would be a Turkish delight but that's not a biscuit either it would be a delight um, I think it's one of those big ones that has lots of bits and things <laughs> on the top okay yeah okay great yeah <laughs> it's a big biscuit with lots of things so um, it's a biscuit that looks like one of those big tins <laughs> Tins of biscuits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were to bake a special biscuit that had all the biscuits, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, tricky. Yeah, nice. So maybe I need to work on that. Maybe I need. We need to have a brainstorm. Yes. Uh, however, texture. Yes. So, so it's about getting to know your materials. Rule three: mm -hmm. get to know your materials. People think that means. Getting to know what they smell like. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. But a huge other part of it is how they feel, what they remind you of. So, because we can describe things, we can describe aromas as rosy, mm -hmm. citrusy, woody, those things. But that's not enough. I've probably said before, but I'll say it again. About if you were if you were making a red dress mm -hmm. and you had a lot of red velvet, but you suddenly realised you didn't have enough for the last skirt panel, mm -hmm. and somebody came up to you and said, "Here, I've got some." You know, so it's all velvet. It's all big. Nice crushed velvet. 
somebody comes up and says, hey, oh, I've got some red. Here, have this. And it's net. Yeah. It's not enough that it's red. It's the exact same shade of red, mm -hmm. but it simply won't do. It won't because the texture, the weight, the transparency, everything's all wrong. And you can see your knickers through it and that's not happening. Mm -hmm. So, it, uh, unless you wanted that as a feature. Yeah. Which is fine. But, uh, really what you need, you can go, well, maybe we'll just make something out of it and we'll put a panel of purple velvet in there as well. Yeah. But it would be, then it would be the right weight, be the right balance and that would, that would work. So, what's important is you don't replace it with the same colour, you replace it with the same texture, density, that. And also I find that something like uh, Tobacco Absolute has the same feel as Jasmine Absolute. Obviously they smell very different, but if I were going to replace a material I haven't got any tobacco at all, well I'm going to try this formula but nah, don't have any tobacco, what would I put in mm. there? Not necessarily something else that smells like tobacco, it might be too strong, too weak, too weedy, too fine, too punchy, too... All yeah. those words. So yeah. should we smell some things? And yeah. then um, we can attempt to describe them because... Can we do that? Well, it's fallen out of solution. Oh, it never really went in. It's an absolute yeah. and there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of the fatty stuff yeah. still in there. There's a lot of the solvent still there. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a, a test batch that I got. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That would need filtering. Yeah. See, see. previous video. Um, yeah, we can smell it though. We'll mm. probably have a an odd idea of what it's going to feel like just from looking at it. Mm. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that a good noise? Yeah. Wow, I love lavender so much. See, and this here is your lavender absolute. Mm. What, do you think it has a different feeling from lavender essential oil? Right. Which I would find and test if I could find it. But... Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Let's... A different texture. Yeah. Let's see. This is. I think I always have an idea. Two seconds. I, I I tried this button on um, Vimeo. It mm. said it could cut out all the gaps in right. the video. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It was awful. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. It's like when we take a, even if you take a breath, just a thinking pause, it would take it out. And just bang, 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 bang. Oh, it was, it was, you know, so we can shave two minutes off your video. Takes now. all of right. the nuance, takes all of the artisticness out of it, because people don't realise this is art, what we do. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is. It's, um... I don't think people understand lot. that they're scripted, and we learn <laughs> our lines. <laughs> this is true. Okay. I very hard. So, um... I would say that the lavender essential oil is sharper, mm -hmm. spikier, mm -hmm. and I would say that the lavender absolute, the first one, is softer and, to evoke a previous image, more of a velvety dress. Mm. I would say that as well. This one feels, the essential oil feels more fine. This one feels a little bit more spread out. Yeah. I mean, you can... You can do this. I don't. I think it's very, very difficult to do this when you first start off. Mm. I think that that's why this particular student was just a bit baffled about what on earth I was talking about about texture. Mm. Um, because I remember, like, fifteen years ago, when I first smelt a lot of synthetics, my brain just would not process what was going on. Mm, mm. I. I was like, well, I think it's a smell, but I don't know what it's a smell of. I have nothing recorded here that I can play back that 
helps me recognize what is going on in my head. It's just leaping around trying to find a place. Mm. Right. And when you have more practice, it's like the thought just kind of rolls into the place that you've previously created for it. Yeah. And it's also interesting because I, I, you, you can't explain why it feels that way. So I go, this feels to me sharp. Why? Mm. Like, when you describe a drink as being sharp, it, it's slightly sour. Yes, because... But this taste. doesn't have that. And so what am I associating it with? And why is that? But it's it's like a, trying to grab a piece of mist and explain it. Like they could yeah. put it down and define it. But it's it's almost like bypassing your logical stuff, your logical brain, mm. and trying to look at things in, emotionally. Yes, yes. I think it's another. It's one of those doors to a room you're allowed to enter after you realise the door is there. Mm -hmm. It materialises, and that's. When you are smelling different materials over and over and over and over again, and if you write down what it makes you feel of, feel of, <laughs> what it reminds you of, mm -hmm. how it makes you feel, what it makes you think of, you can go back to that and notice if it's got any better. But you know, everybody wants to get to the answer really quickly. Mm -hmm. It's like I say, like, you you go on a you go on a training course and go how to use Excel in a day. And you come yeah. out at the end of the day and you can use Excel. Mm -hmm. And you cannot do the same with perfume because it will not, it just won't reveal itself to you. Well, it's like turning up at yoga and wanting to do a five minute headstand on your first lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, your teacher's gonna stop you if your teacher's got any sense, mm -hmm. says me, as I am qualified to do such things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to have, there was somebody who used to come into the class who, I just try and get in not to do this because there were other people who had had 10 years practice and could do a five minute head balance. And this guy's like, right, really, if you feel uncomfortable, calm down, right. And eventually I just have to say, get down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this, isn't, this is not what it's supposed to look like. Your head is not supposed to be the same color as this table. Just, <laughs> you know. But then people get competitive, but and they, you know, people want to be able to do everything. What? Human nature. There you go. Yeah, and that unfortunately sometimes the secret to getting good at the thing, mostly the secret to getting good at the thing is practicing. I mean, you wouldn't expect to go straight in and play the violin on day one, would you? No, but I'd want to. Yeah, and that's why most people give up. This Unless is... they're kids, because kids expect. Every, the kids don't have the expectation of knowing that well they just think they, they, if they played a note they think great I played a note go me hmm. don't expect to have to so it's it's going back to learning like when you were a child yeah although mm -hmm. um, if a child has the pressure of an adult who's developed that sense yeah then they will stop quite quickly because they will right. never be good enough. They, they will never get the the approval in order to continue to keep failing. That's the point. I feel, I think the thing is that kids that nothing feels like failure if if they're allowed to if they're, learn, le if they're if left they're to their own to devices. This is something that I've been thinking about a lot just in terms of the process of writing novels. It's like that I find that when my really self-critical voice comes in, it's the voice that is deeply impatient, knows what the end result is, mm. but can't get there. And mm. so then I start, because the only reason why I'm not there is because it takes years. And then, um, but I'm like, but why aren't I there now? Therefore yeah. I must be useless, worthless and rubbish at this. And so we have to bypass that, the, the desire to achieve an end, an end result. I remember I, when I did the first draft of... Um, Sense of Possibility. That, uh, that is exactly the one, Sense yeah. of Possibility, oh, whose name I've forgotten because it's that long ago. And then I read this instruction, which was the, the ad advice, was like, put it in a drawer for six months and come... I'm like, six months? Yeah. What is finished? Like, yeah. and, I, and 
I come back to it now and think, oh, I might change that phrase. And this is yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I, actually, I'm still, I'm still quite happy with it. That's good. The thing I'm most happy with, actually, is the Buddha Wood Box story. Mm. Every time I read that, I've probably told you, every time I read it, I burst into tears. From, I'm so happy. from the crimes of... From no, the, from, from the... the um, four uh, Mysteries. Four Mysteries, yeah. Yeah. So this. Yeah. So at first I thought prickly, and then I actually withdraw that, and I think bubbly. Okay. It feels to me like um, froth. This one is quite in your face when it when it starts. So this is Oris Jivko. Mm -hmm. So it's Jivodan's Oris base. It takes a while, and then while you talk about something else, it softens and flattens but it comes at you the first no, it really does. You, yeah you first smell it and I think that's why Harry thinks he doesn't like it um, but I think he's just he's he's got his first impressions now it's chilled out a bit it's yeah. really lovely mm. so so there's there's kind of two parts to texture one is getting to know the materials, part three. Rule number three in the book. Uh, so th there's no limit to the amount of time you can spend. No, I, I just saw I just saw Alex in Paris, mm -hmm. and he's just finished his first year pretty much. Um, he's just doing his exams for Isipka, the the perfume school in Versailles. And they've spent a year smelling different things. Blending them isn't permitted. Wow. At all. So if you're going to do your classical education in perfumery, it's like it's like not being allowed to play any tunes until you've learnt all your scales and arpeggios in mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, secretly, you're going to do it and you... Mm. You know, they know you have to put the violin back in the cupboard now. You're not allowed to take it home and go off east. Yeah, wow. So this. So this is giving me the sensation of suede. Hmm. I'm I'm thinking maybe because we were just talking about it. I'm thinking about dulce di leche. Oh yeah. And but then it's. Do you know what it is? Gloopy. What is it? Um. It's ethyl maltol, it's the candy floss molecule. Oh, right, yeah. So, but it does, so partly it's the aroma, but also it feels to me as if like, I'm just sinking into a pot of, also dulce de leche is this Argentinian, for anyone who does not know this, like sticky toffee sauce. Right. Mm. And before but, anyone tries to correct us, it's not dulce de leche. No. It's dulce de leche. Yeah, dulce, well, that would be Italian. Yeah. Dulce would be the Spanish, Spanish pronunciation, but the Argentinian pronunciation is dulce de leche. Yes, and we know because we have an Argentinian in the studio. We do. And we might have been... I've been to Argentina. You've been to Argentina? Been to Argentina. Well then, there you go. Amy got told off in Mexico for using Spanish pronunciation. Got told yeah. it was too much. Yeah, too colonial. S -s 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 -s. Mm. S -s 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 um, yeah, so this, ethyl maltol, it? it really is, especially if, I think if you come to it without knowing what it is. I'm finding this um, exercise really, really interesting because I've smelled all these things before, Yeah. but I feel like I'm smelling them for the first time. And also I think if you skip trying to identify what it is, yeah, and just think, you know, the whole, what is it, what is it, what is it, that takes up too much um anxiety brain space yeah whereas if you just allow the aroma to sort of wash through and think how does it feel how does it feel um, yeah it's making me uh, appreciate them more good 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 um so then i talk about materials which add so we're on to part two here materials which change the texture of others so do you want to make this a separate video, or do you want to keep this as? I think I think we can keep going. It yeah. won't be won't be hugely long. 
Yeah. Um, so if I were to get the ethylene brassylate here, mm -hmm. let's just dip it first because it's a musk. You know it's a musk. It's um, my favourite musk. That's a lot of it. It's it's a it's a very reliable. You know it's a Ford Focus sort of a musk. It's <clears throat> um, there's a lot of it around. It does the job. Um, I need to wait for a moment. Yeah, it's at fifteen percent. Because it's kind of big and heavy and soft, you smell it first. You just smell ethanol, and so when I'm giving strips out of this, quite often I I will dip them. Just I'm making my mind up which side. I'll just stick it there and leave it before I let anyone smell it, because I know otherwise I'll just say, "Oh, this smells of gin." Like, mm -hmm. That's the ethanol. So. <laughs> there it is. All right, what have I got that smells quite intense? Okay. Oh, I love it so much. Then I am pleased. It's such a nice material. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Here is another material which I have put onto one of the tiny filter papers which I don't normally fold up, see previous video. Um, right. I find this a little bit scratchy. It is scratchy, you're yeah. exactly right. I feel like it appears soft, mm -hmm. but then when you touch it it's actually quite scratchy. Yes, it, it fools you. Oak moss. It's patchouli. Ah. It's a dark patchouli. So my intention is to change its texture because that's the next thing. First of all, you get to know the textures of materials. Voila. I'm gonna. I'm gonna want to just. I don't want to forget that I was in France this time yesterday. Oh, so I want to keep sticking French words in, but oh, because that's RC. Oh my goodness, I saw this amazing shop. RC, just what is RC? <laughs> yeah, I was at the Rodin Museum talking of RC, taking photographs of bronze cast buttocks. Oh, yes. Um, but we walked up this little street on the way to the Rodin Museum, and uh, there was this former chemist shop empty still had all the wooden cabinets mm. in it carpet disgusting but nothing's perfect and it's like that would just be the shop to have oh yeah except it's up a little side street it's an extra government building maybe i could sell it to all the civil servants but um yeah that would be a great perfumery and then somebody's going, why don't you crowdfund? It's like, because I don't have citizenship. I've got a building in London, <laughs> etc. And they're like, no, I just like... So I'm just smelling the ethylene bracelet by itself. And what the ethylene bracelet does to the patchouli is makes it into the softer thing. I mean, this is one patchouli to two ethylene bracelet. Given that the ethylene bracelet is a very, very gentle mm. aroma, it is pretty, it's almost like it's encapsulated this. It's like, I will make you smooth and soft and lovely. And so it hasn't yeah. got rid of the spikes, but it's sort of sanded them down. Mm. But no, it has, it's rounded it off, yes. Yeah. So you still know it's patchouli, you can't really smell the ethylene bracelet, I would say. No, it's enhanced the patchouli, or it's, cha yep. yeah, it's changed the nature of the patchouli, yep. it's changed the texture. Yeah, so that is what I mean when I say that materials which hardly smell at all, but they do texture. Um, I'm going to do it with the timber silk as well. So sometimes when I'm talking about texture, 
the material textural materials, ones which don't have much of the. This is patchouli again. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So you got that. I'm going to. I'm going to surround it with. And I know we're just, this is drops because we're just experimenting. So we'll just wait for it to dry. We could, I did get some little bottles out to do proper weight experiments, but yeah. we're not going to today. I wonder if Vimeo has a button that you can press that just says cut out all drying time. Yeah, but then it would cut out a lot of conversation. Yeah. We don't rush these things. We, People, we spend a long time writing the script. Absolutely, including, pause, two seconds. We've <laughs> also discovered that more than one person now, out of our nearly 5,000 subscribers, I don't, we, we, it's, it's just going, I just, I don't, I don't do anything. 5,000 subscribers, I didn't know that, that's great. It's a, yeah, no, it just happened. Remember when, they, when we first got 1,000, because then they said, if we ask nicely, they might pay us money. Yeah. And they now, they now, they're up to paying us something like ten pounds a month. Wow, them. that's amazing. I know it's extraordinary. Um, I'm going to start using this platform to start trying to um, advertise my children's books. Do it. <sighs> yes, use this one. I have. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah. Look, look. It's actually sent me a, wow. a notification today. <gasps> you have five thousand subscribers. View analytics, not now. Amazing. People like your channel. Oh, thank you, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah, five thousand and forty. If everyone tells one friend, yeah, we could have ten thousand. They the could end of the accept. Week. Probably that's these people or their friends already watch it. So yeah, but everyone's got another friend. Maybe they do. Yeah. Okay. So what we oh, got here? Oh wow! So that's what does timber silk do to patchouli? That makes it richer. It ma it, it makes it yeah. Um, it, it feels like it's made it um... sexy. <sighs> how do I? Yeah. How do I put this? I said it's it like out loud. when you believe I said it. It's like when you've put um, when you reduce something down in a saucepan, sort of has reduced. A reduction. Yeah, but that is. It's, it's like a jus. Yeah, it's like made it gloopier, saucier, saucier. Yeah. It's oh, misses. It's really nice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put ethylene bracelet on as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Here comes the helicopter. Then all we need is the crow, a police siren, and we can finish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. You bottle it. This. Bottle it. I know. Wow. So that would be, if we're going to percentages, that would be 20% patchouli, 20% uh, 40% timber silk, 40% ethylene bracelet fragrance. Boom. Pop. Take 5% out somewhere and pop a bit of um, lavender essential oil to give it a bit of zing. Okay, we can only put on one drop, so it's going to be equal amounts patchouli and lavender. But Great. Let's add it to our. Oh, you need a proper drop. The water. Yep. Doing it again. Mm. The lavender will take over now. Yeah. Because. Because mm. it's bright and sparky, and even though the other things are, I mean, well, it's more like a picture of the lavender sort of being welcomed into a nice fluffy home. Hmm. But the lavender still wins. Oh, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. It's a bit like the, the one I just made for Owen for his play. Yeah. Wow, that's lovely. So when we say texture, we mean something which doesn't change necessarily. The textural materials don't 
change the aroma of the patchouli or of the lavender, but they give it a different feel. Mm. That's really nice. Lavender patchouli, ethylene brassolate and timber silk. It doesn't doesn't have to be stupidly complicated perfumery. No, I mean that's really like it's it's um it's really I don't want to say the word elegant because I think that that's just a bit overused but can we think of a better word? Elegante. It's we're, very we're... noble. Um, elegant and noble sounds like a an album title, isn't it? Yeah. I just want to write it down. Where do you get your perfume names from? Elible. Elible. Noblant. <laughs> yeah, it's that's really enough, nice. That's well, we've literally just fallen into just yeah, smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Um, yeah, this is the point. You know, people go to sleep to our films. I think yeah. that I think I think <laughs> I think that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, I, know, I, I do quite like that. I you quite are like strong. It. When you wake up, you will achieve everything you want to achieve. Oh, you won't then. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 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 so not us. No. All right. You are you. When you wake up, you will achieve um, some things. Just get up, you know. That's. And that's you will begin snoring now. 